Here we are in uh, Makana Yusuf Theological Seminary compound. This theological seminary belongs to the Ethiopian Evangelical Church Makana Yusuf. The Makana Yusuf Theological Seminary is located in Mekanisa. We're going to take a few minutes to talk about the seminary and what the seminary is doing with Reverend Dr. Brooke Ayala, the president of the Makana Yusuf Theological Seminary. Let's have time with Reverend Dr. Brooke Ayala. Reverend Dr. Brooke Ayala, good to meet you. Could you tell us a little bit about who you are so we will understand and what the seminary is doing briefly? Yeah, thank you. Uh, it's a really a privilege to introduce to you uh, what Mekan Seminary is and what it is doing. And uh, I am Brooke Ayala, the president of Mekan Seminary for the last five years. Uh, and Mekan Seminary is offering this is the central uh, and major seminary of the Ethiopian Evangelical Church, Makani Jesus. So uh, we are training pastors, ministers, leaders, managers, uh, musicians, uh, media workers, uh, and so many other accountants, uh, development workers. So uh, the seminary has various departments and we are uh, mainly uh, equipping uh, all these professionals uh, to the church and society. Reverend Dr. Brukayeli, could you tell us when did the, the Mechanics of Theological Seminary was established and how did it happen? Yeah, thank you. Uh, as many people know, the Ethiopian Evangelical Church Mechanics Jesus was established as a national church in 1959, even though it has been functioning before that uh, for more than 100 years. So its national establishment was in 1959. And the church leaders, the first thing they did was to establish a theological seminary. And the Mechanic Seminary was established in 1960, uh, 61 years ago. Uh, it was established uh, from three different Bible schools uh, serving in different parts of the church. And those three uh, Bible schools and mission organizations came together uh, with the resolution of the church leaders uh, and established this central uh, seminary uh, of the church. And the purpose was the fathers of the church really envisioned that theological education and formation is central to the growth of this church. And, and I'm, I'm very much uh, proud of their decision that they have seen rightly, they have envisioned rightly, and it is because of uh, partly that theological education, the church has grown tremendously and the contribution of the Mechanic Seminary was very influential. You know from the history of the Mechanic Church, this theological uh, institution was established in harmony with the church leaders. Could you tell us who are the, the, the missions involved in the establishment and the pioneering stage of the theological seminary? Yes, uh, in 1959, when the church was established, uh, the German Hermannsburg Mission, uh, the Swedish Evangelical Mission, and the American Lutheran uh, Mission, they have their own Bible schools at different places. Uh, for example, the Swedish Evangelical Mission uh, Bible School was at Intoto, uh, and others are different places, and it is with, uh, in collaboration with those mission partners, uh, the church has established the seminary. Uh, and from the very beginning, with those three mission partners, later on, uh, Norwegian Lutheran Mission came in, uh, Danish Lutheran Mission came in, and other mission partners of the church came in, uh, in establishing and uh, expanding the seminary. So the contribution of uh, and the partnership of the church leaders and mission partners was very, very huge. Proceed to the next question. What are the, the, the major activities in Makana Yusuf Theological Seminary? We know that it is a, a theological institution training pastors and leaders of the church of today and tomorrow. Uh, please tell us what do you do as a theological seminary your programs and so forth, and tell us about your department, and tell us if there is any project underway in Mechanics Theological Seminary Compound. Thank you, Guru. Um, when Mechanics Seminary was established in 1960, it started with a diploma program with very few students, mm. and then it grew to a bachelor's degree program. And early 1970, uh, 
the seminary also started uh, a program called uh, Theological Education by Extension and normally called as TEE, mm -hmm. uh, which served the church uh, very, very uh, immensely and its influence is very huge. Mm -hmm. So next to the theological education, the, the regular theological education, mm -hmm. the theological education by extension is the second program uh, that was established. Then in 1995, with a very close support uh, of the Lutheran World Federation, uh, Department of Leadership was started to keep uh, church leaders at all levels, mm -hmm. both in leadership capacity, mm -hmm. uh, in accounting and management, uh, that department was established in 1995. Uh, then later on, in 2005, after 10 years, mm -hmm. it was registered as a fully-fledged college by uh, the government uh, accrediting uh, body. Uh, in 2000, uh, we started uh, a school called School of Jazz Music, mm -hmm. which later on added uh, Department of Media, mm -hmm. which is now called a School of Music and Media. Mm -hmm. uh, as of 2010, mm -hmm. we started uh, the master's program in theology, mm -hmm. uh, and later on master's program in leadership mm -hmm. uh, and project management uh, and so on. So these are all the programs we are offering. So we have uh, theological uh, programs mm -hmm. focusing in regular program, mm -hmm. uh, Bible translation, Christian-Muslim relation, mm -hmm. intercultural studies. Mm -hmm. So these are all what we are offering in terms of theological education at from diploma, certificate, bachelor's degree, and master's level. Mm -hmm. uh, in the leadership department, what's called Management Leadership College, we are offering management and leadership, development and gender, accounting, uh, both at uh, bachelor's degree and master's mm -hmm. level. Mm -hmm. And we are also offering media mm -hmm. uh, and music in different specialty both in diploma uh, and degree program mm -hmm. so these are our programs mm -hmm. uh, but i will come uh, on our future planning in terms of expanding uh, expanding uh, our programs in the future it's very interesting that many theological seminaries usually focus on training pastors and leaders of the church, and this is a very good thing, but I think something special about the Mechanic Seminary, you have this uh, management and leadership program. Could you tell us a little bit, because uh, in, 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 in our opinion, we think that a program will benefit the church as well as the society, because in, in any nation we need leaders, and leaders need to be uh, uh, trained to serve their society. I heard that this uh, leadership and management and this, uh, program established in order to produce servants. Could you tell us a little bit about that? Thank you. Uh, that is uh, true indeed. Um, when the church was established in 1960, uh, the membership was uh, more or less 20,000. But uh, after just uh, two and a half decades, uh, it became more than a million. And, and the church expanded very quickly. And we have congregational leaders, parish leaders, synod leaders, and all those leader, leaders need to be some kind of training. Mm. And of course, uh, then in uh, 1990s, the issue was self-reliance mm. and accounting mm. and managing uh, finances, stewardship uh, and servant leadership was at the center of the church leaders. And that is how uh, the church envisioned the department of uh, leadership. In the meantime, that department grew to be serving both the church and the society with uh, the major motto of the Ethiopian evangelical church called serving the whole person, this what we call holistic ministry. So that is the, 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 the vision of starting uh, the leadership department. <laughs> Dr. Brooke, we're here now in the Mechanics of Theological Seminary Library. Uh, do you guys use this library for all the programs you're running? And I would like to add uh, uh, on that. Uh, what are the challenges of the seminary we need to know about? Challenges of any kind you would like to mention to brothers and sisters in the Lord so they could lift you up in, in prayer. They may uh, partner in, in, in supporting your program and your development in this compound. Could you tell us a little bit more? Yeah, thank you very much. Yes, 
here we are at the heart of the, the, the seminary, which mm. is a library. Mm. Um, our major challenge is one of very positive challenge. The positive challenge is a challenge of growth. The church has been growing very, very fast, just only, only in six decades. It grew from 20,000 to 10 million. And we have to follow up and back up that growth with uh, trained human power. Uh, at Mechanic Youth Seminary, in the various departments I mentioned earlier, uh, right now we have more than 4,000 students in all programs, both in the uh, regular residential program, uh, in the extension program, uh, in the TEE, and the distance program. So uh, we have that many students. However, this is a very, very small library as compared to the number of students and the programs uh, we have. So we have to expand. So facilities, faculty, finance, uh, all this are significant major challenges we are facing that we cannot really address the need uh, of the library in, in many fronts. What's the vision for a uh, mechanic seminary? What the future looks like for a mechanic seminary? I'm sure we have uh, a vision. I'm sure we have some strategic plans. Can you tell us about what the future looks like in the next five or ten years for a mechanic seminary? Um, yes, uh, I, I just I'd like to mention four areas of our future plan. The first one is we want to seriously work on our academic excellence and program expansion. When I say program expansion, uh, we are intensively working on beginning a PhD uh, in theology here at the seminary. Uh, we are launching the Masters in Theology uh, and then uh, this is uh, what the church has already envisioned, not only envisioned but resolved in its decision-making uh, bodies. Uh, and that should coupled with academic excellence. So we are intensively work uh, on how to keep academic excellence in all our programs. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, uh, we are also uh, intensively working on establishing Mechanics Seminary, Mechanics University as an independent institution. And the, the, the motto of ethical uprightness and academic competence is the motto for both institutions, for Mechanics Seminary uh, and the Mechanics University and all the programs. Secondly, uh, we are envisioning to establish a research center uh, with huge uh, archival room. Um, Mekani Jesus uh, Church is with a lot of history uh, that it can share to the rest of the world. Uh, but that has not been adequately researched. Both Mekani Jesus Church as a church and Ethiopia as a nation uh, and all the work of this church and the missionaries and everything, that should be published, that should be studied. So we want to have very adequate uh, and competent uh, research center with research and, and, and publication. Uh, and of course, uh, the church has already envisioned to have very, very strong uh, archival center. So that is our uh, second uh, area of uh, strategy. Thirdly, we are looking for strong faculty development. Faculty development and financial uh, sustainability. In order to have all the, the previous thing, in order to achieve you need to have finances, finance for students' scholarship. We have been dependent on funds coming from abroad. Uh, now we want to have uh, our own uh, income generated locally. So uh, the building we have seen earlier, and another one uh, which we are envisioning, uh, those two will be for fac faculty benefits and student scholarship uh, earmarked. So financial sustainability, Adequate student, uh, establishing adequate student body and 
um, faculty development, these are our third areas of focus uh, and establishment. Thirdly, we want to really have adequate facilities. As you can see here, this master plan uh, is uh, a master plan of this big Mechanisa compound and, and this part is mainly now, this is, this will be uh, the future uh, Makani Jesus, the EECMY headquarters. So half of it, this part belongs to the central office uh, with a huge research, I mean, with, with huge convention center, uh, headquarters, residential areas, uh, guest houses, uh, all these facilities belongs to uh, the church. But the other part, this, now, right now, we are here, the office is at the center of the compound, we are just here, uh, and these blocks are income generating uh, blocks just for mixed use. And in the other wing, this side as well, uh, that's also another commercial area. So we want to have uh, income generation scheme this side uh, and this side. We are very much blessed with this place with adequate external infrastructure uh, to do this. Uh, and then uh, we want to continue developing our library, dormitories, residential blocks uh, in a way that can really uh, satisfy the vision and mission uh, of the seminary. And this is a plan for 30 years, with uh, divided to 10 different years. So we are pretty sure uh, with God's grace and his provision. Mm -hmm.